Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And if you are, my name is Aileen and here we talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, fashion and skincare. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing. And today we're gonna talk about the new Viseart Paris Love Letter Palette. I know there's quite a few videos on this, but I wanted to dig around my sash and see if I had any possible dupes. So I know we've all been talking about in social media, does it dupe the Tiny Marvels Sydney Grace palette? I wanted to see if I could offer like different price ranges on what it could possibly dupe. So I wanted to like take a look at the Too Faced Peach palette because some of us have these and Sometimes you look at it and you're like, oh, that's so pretty. And you think to yourself, I want it because it's so pretty. And you don't think to yourself, do I have it already? And I also want to take a look at the Meant to Be and the Baby Got Peach from ColourPop. Now, the formula is not going to compare to ColourPop, but at least you know you can achieve the same look and it depends on your price range. And then I took out the Chantecai Spring just to swatch it against it. I want to see. I'm interested because this formula is so good. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, like we always say, comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bells. Now let's get to it. So here's the outer packaging. It is stunning. This peachy coral color is absolutely gorgeous and if you saw a few videos back i mentioned that sisley coral liner i really want it's like this shade it's absolutely stunning and i have on the gucci agatha orange in matte and i did film my complexion and i if that video came up already i will link it up here if not it will be soon to follow but here is the viziar palette which shimmers and mattes, absolutely beautiful. And now let's take a look at the ones I wanna see if we can dupe it with. So here's Tiny Marbles. So I was thinking more like this side of the palette, maybe the dark brown and the lavender, this purple and this purple, I'm not sure which one, but I feel maybe some of those may. And then the Too Faced Peach palette. So it does have a green, but it's a darker green. So I'm looking more at like these. And then it does have the purples, but it has like darker purples. I definitely don't think the purples will be a dupe. But like these peach shades, these matte shades. And in the palette, you have a peach shade. You have a peach shimmer. I don't see a peach shimmer here but this shade looks very similar to, to this shade. So this shade right here looks very similar to this. So I just wanna see if I can dupe the palette with what I have. So let me go ahead and swatch the Viseart. And I'm going to go from top to bottom in this direction. And then we'll do swatches of all of the Tiny Marvels, the Too Faced Peach. This is the Baby Got Peach from ColourPop and the Mint To Be from ColourPop. I don't think the Mint To Be is quite the same greens, but we'll take a look and see. Okay, so here we are. Here's the entire Viseart Paris Love Palette. This green, the shimmer in this green and in these, oh, even these for an inner corner, these are just stunning. And if you're not familiar with Viseart mattes or Viseart's formula, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I wanna compare the Too Faced first. And I'm only gonna compare the shades I think may be a possible dupe. So in the Too Faced, you have Luscious, which is this shade, which I feel may be comparable to this shade. So this is more 
of a goldy champagne and this has more of a rose gold tint in it. So let me swatch it here. It's definitely more comparable to this one, but still not exactly the same. The Viseart has more of like a pearl, has more pearl-like glitter in it. And next I'm going to compare the peach shade in Georgia, which I think is way too light. It's definitely too light to compare to these two. You can barely even see it. It's right there. So I'm going to compare it to the lightest shade up here. Yeah. This one's this one from the Too Faced palette is darker. So next I'm going to compare just peachy and candid peach. And I'm just going to put those here. So candid peach is a close one. It's darker and both of these are shimmery from the Too Faced palette and these are matte. So in all reality, it's not a dupe. It looks like it on the pan. I know for a fact the green and the purple are not. So we're gonna sit her back here and let's take a look at the tiny marbles. So the tiny marbles, let's take a look at the green which is the Mantis. However, it's matte and in, in a different shade of green, where in the Viseart, it's a lighter green and it's shimmer. So those shades are definitely not a dupe for each other. Let's go into Flutterby. So Flutterby, I swatched here. It's definitely not a comparison, but I'm thinking it might, might be closer. Yeah, so it's a closer shade to this one. So this is Flutterby, and this is Viseart's. So that's a close shade. Spider and Tiny Marvels looks brown like a dark brown, so we'll swatch it here, but it definitely looks darker in the pan. Yes, it is. It's a lot darker than the one in the Viseart palette. So let's take a look at Jewel B. Jewel B, however, even if it is a close color, which it's not. So here's Jewel B, which is the lavender shade in Tiny Marvels. This is the one in the Viseart palette. So they're not the same and the Viseart's is shimmery and the Tiny Marvels is matte. And then Web is wider than the lightest shimmer shade in the Viseart palette. This is like a true pearlescent white where this is like a champagne and they're both shimmery, but definitely not the same. So if you were wondering if Tiny Marvels and the Viseart Paris Love Palette compare, they're not the same. And what, what's really nice is I do think they'll be really good together because where Mantis is matte and this is shimmery and vice versa down here, oh, that's so pretty. They go well together. They go absolutely, they go really good together. So we will sit her back here. The mint to be, I really don't think, no, the only shade that can come close maybe is minty, but minty is a different green. It's a true mint green where this is like a light green. Yeah, those are not the same. And that's the only shade in that palette that I was like, maybe we'll sit her back there. So, so far I'm feeling good about this because I went through my entire collection and I was like, I don't think I have anything like it because I think about that before I make a purchase. And then the baby got peach. Honestly, it's only the perky color that I'm like, mm, maybe. 
I'm going to swatch it here. So this is Perky from ColourPop. And then this is the one from the Viseart palette. So even Perky is darker than this one here. And then if I go, then we can check Darlin, which is, and we're going to compare it to this one right here. Those are pretty comparable. Those are true peachy colors. So here's Darlin and here's the one from the Viseart palette. Here, let me darken it so you can see it. But the one in the ColourPop palette definitely has a little bit more pigment to it. So here's the one in the in the Viseart and here's the one in the ColourPop. So then I swatched from the Baby Got Peach. I swatched right here, Get Even, and this is Glaze It. So Glaze It definitely looks like this second shade from the Viseart palette. And the Get Even looks a little bit like the third shade of the Viseart but the ColourPop has more pigment. So really the only sh shade I say I've been able to dupe is this one, and that's with this shade right here. So I'm gonna clean off this peach shade from the Viseart palette since we couldn't find a dupe for it. And right underneath these greens, I'm gonna swatch the Chantakai green but there's really, from the spring collection, but you guys, there's really no comparing the shade. It's a dual shift. You cannot compare the shade to any of those, to none. And what's crazy, like on the viewfinder, they look a lot different than on my arm. So here they look the same, but I'm trying, there you go. They're definitely different. So this is the Viseart palette, and then this is the Chantakai Spring. Next, I want to swatch the peachy shimmery shade from the Chantakai Spring. And I'm going to do it right here. Just see. Yeah, and it definitely doesn't compare. So that's it right there. And these are the others for Viseart. So yeah, I feel really good about this purchase. I feel that I purchased something that I don't have. And let me be honest with myself. If I, if there was three shades similar in any of those palettes and I had the Viseart in one palette, I would still be happy that I purchased it. I am not an individual that will pull out multiple palettes to create one look. It's just not for me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a look using the new Viseart Paris Love Palette. First, I'm going to go into this shade here, and I'm going to put that as a transition and buff it upwards. And I really do want to create a look that will go good with this Agatha orange, like I've never worn an orange lip color. I'm really loving it. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too bright? And I'm asking you guys, because you know, we're all our own worst critics. It's awful how we treat ourselves. We really do need to be kinder to ourselves, like Kara says. So next, I'm going to go into this shade here and put that in the crease, like start building it up in the outer corner and bringing it into the crease. And I'm just trying to do something quickly that I love, that ties my whole look together. I'm not one to sit down and do my makeup for hours. Next, I want to go into this peachy shade. And I'm going to bring that all over the lid into the crease. 
and slightly above. That's so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into the dark brown and I'm gonna darken just the outer V. I'm just gonna place my brush and go in circles and then slightly bring that into the crease. Dab a little more. If the green and purple would go with my lip, I would so do the green and purple. Let me know if you're interested in like a short video with a green and purple. I am loving that look. Or if you just want me to create the look and post it on Instagram, I can do that too. Next, I'm gonna go into the green. I love how Viseart shades blend so nicely with each other. You can dip into two different shades to create another color. That's why so many pros use it. Like that. Oof. You know what? It doesn't matter what lip we got on. We might just go in with the purple and the lower lash line and just call it a day. Why not? Why not? We could get a little bold with it. So there is kick up in the pan, but I don't have fallout on my face, which I can appreciate because I am a creature of complexion first. I like it. Next, I'm going to go into this bright pearly champagne color. Do my inner corner and bring it on to the lid. And I'm going to bring that same shade of the brow highlight. Yes. And I cleaned off my pencil brush and I'm gonna dip into that purple. Why not? And I'm gonna bring that purple in the lower lash line. purple in the lower lash okay and I don't have a like a pastel purple liner oh I like that this is the Wayne Goss cold pencil the essential eye cold pencil and deep amethyst that's so pretty it's like spring on my eyes. I like it. So here's the final look without mascara. 
And to tie the whole look together, I'm going to put a little purple liner. Just tight lining my lashes. There we go. We brought the purple from the bottom lash line up to the upper lash and it just ties it all together. So let me curl my lashes and put on my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I've got my mascara on. I'm liking it. Like this peachy blush. It's like, honestly, but it's like a purpley pink blush and it just ties it all together the peach the purple liner the purple lower lash and the lip is like bam i don't know about the lip i'm still having to get used to the lip but i really like it i love the Ag agatha orange i really love gucci's matte formula i want to pick up a shade in all the other formulas but here's the eye look with mascara, liner. What do you guys think? I am really loving this palette. Like, and it's so, the formula, it's so great. It's so quick and easy to blend. If you're interested in this color story and you think it's a lot like Tiny Marvels, they're different. But if you have Tiny Marvels, they'll go great together because the ones that are shimmers in here are mattes and tiny marvels and you can blend the two if you're an individual that likes to like dip into multiple palettes you can blend the two and it, it you can come up with some amazing looks like the matte purple with the shimmery purple oh, the matte green with the shimmery green it will be so beautiful and again, I don't think they're dupes for each other, but I do think they'll make great companions to each other. So if you are interested in the Viseart Love letter palette, I say go for it. If you're familiar with the Viseart formula, you already know it's great. You're not going to have any issues there. So I hope those comparisons and swatches gave you some peace of mind. But feel free to go through your collection and see what you have and take a look. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. I enjoyed spending my time with you. So until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.